This video is about testing the version 2 of my Gen 15 Plus boat. I went to Hack Lick to test my boat. Hack Lick is a man made lake at the west side of Portland. Today is also a free fishing day, therefore, I bring my fishing poles and try my luck. Hopefully, I have something good for dinner. I really like the box size of this boat because I have to carry it and walk a few hundred feet to get to the water. With my first Gen 15 design, it takes about two minutes to assemble the boat. But for this boat, I have to fit all the accessories and PVC pipes inside the box. Therefore, I have to create more pieces and that slows down the assembly. I should also label all the pieces so that when I do the assembly, I will not make stupid mistakes. And there are a few minor changes so that I can assemble the boat much faster, which I will implement in my future design. I will also design a better chair so that I can store it inside the box, something similar to this design which should be able to stow inside a box. It took me six minutes to assemble this boat, and I believe I can cut that down to less than four minutes in the future. The draft of the boat looks good. I have one inch at the stern and also at the bow. And at the middle, I have two and a half inch. But one thing is, I have a rocker at the bow and stern. So I estimate that one inch isn't that accurate. So the average draft would be around two to two and a half inch. Therefore, at the draft of four inches, this boat should be able to handle close to 300 pounds. If you have been watching my channel, you know that I've been building quite a few different kind of nine and a half feet long boat and the handling of this boat is quite similar to my other boats. Even though this boat isn't that big but there's sufficient space for me to keep my fishing gears and also keep my anchor. My injured shoulder has stopped me from doing kayaking. This is the first time I went out to the river and lake this year. Even though I didn't catch any fish, but I did enjoy that day. The weather was perfect and the water is clean and cool. I like the look of having a higher bow and stern. But the disadvantage is today there's a little bit wind and this affected the tracking of the boat. In my next revision, I will create a jacket to cover up the V-shaped gap at the bow and stern. At this moment, the draft is at one inch. That means the tip of the bow is barely touches the water. Therefore, it doesn't really create much uh, drag to the movement of the boat. I have added a little bit rocker at the bow and stern. And the turning of the boat is very easy and fast. Packing up the boat is much faster. It took less than three minutes to get done.
I have installed the plastic buckles at both ends of the box, which I can snap shut the box very easily and fast. Something I haven't planned for. It turned out that the rectangular shape is very easy to clean. I can have it stand up and just rub off the dirt easily. The box of this version 2 is 4.5 inch thick and I can fit 4 bolts into my small car. But in the next variation, the version 3, I want to make it even thinner. Take a look at the stack up estimation. I can get it down to 3 inches. Inside this box, I can fit the fold floor and also has space to fit the accessories, the PVC pipes and the seat. For the version 3, it is 3 inches by 19 inches by 48 inches. That is 27, 36 cubic inches. The box size of the OLU lake will be around 2.8 times larger. With version 3, I plan to extend the slope towards the center and make the bow more streamlined. I will trim down on the size of the bow to minimize the effect of the wind. And at the bow and stern, I plan to create a jacket to cover up the V-shaped gap at the bow and also at the stern. There are a few things I need to fix, such as the angular bending of the coral plist. And I have it on the other side too. I can think of a few simple methods to fix it, and it shouldn't be difficult at all. It is how it looks from the side. It would take me just a weekend to finish building my version 3. Unfortunately, I have just finished my surgery and I'm recovering and I'm not allowed to do any strenuous work for the next four weeks. So it will be August before I can build that. Thanks for watching. If you like my video, please give me a thumbs up. And also subscribe to my channel. I have many other videos on my channel. Hope you find them interesting too. Thanks and see you again. Bye bye.